Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here working on this 560 today of my brothers. Uh, we got the uh, distributor here uh, from Muffler Delete. Brian out there, Muffler Delete 101 built this for me. It's got the uh, high energy ignition in it. So we're gonna be putting that in today. I also got the high energy coil, good wires, new plugs, new cap, new rotor. Um, so we're gonna put all that in. I'm gonna try to get as much of this filmed as possible um my camera i see is already running low on battery so i might get some of it done and kind of show you what i've done but for right now i'll turn this around here uh, we got the side cover off here so we can get in here better now i've got the engine turned so number one cylinder here is top dead center um actually if you pull the spark plug out you can see the piston in there and i got it turned so it's top dead center so this is where my rotor is pointing here um, so we know that so I can mark that and I'm also going to mark on this distributor when I pull it out I'm going to mark you can see there's kind of a center line on the casting of the distributor here I am going to mark that on the tractor as well so that when I put the new one in I know it's not going to be exact but it'll be it'll get me close so when we time it we're not way off and this distributor the way these are made i think he showed it in one of his videos you can check them out on his channel when he rebuilt this but you can see in there instead of a gear on the end they just have a groove with a like a flat slot in there so they'll either be um they'll either be where they're supposed to be or they'll be 180 degrees off so i know where my rotor is pointing to number one so that's just the way that one's got to go back in um for right now that distributor that he went through is not set up to put the tack in to hook the tack up this tractor does have a tack but it doesn't work anyway the gauge is bad so for right now i'm not going to hook it up i could swap the drive over out of the one we have and put it in there but for right now i'm not going to mess with it because that's not working anyway so um for right now though i'm going to clean this off clean the base of this distributor off so we don't get dirt down in the engine crankcase and then we'll loosen the clips. We'll get everything marked, loosen the clips, pull the tack, and we'll pull it off. All right, we're going to pop this out now. I just got to loosen the clamps on here. I got the base cleaned up, and then I did mark it. It's really hard to see, but right here, um, so I can line that casting mark up. Like I said, I know it's probably not exactly the same as the other one, but it'll get us close anyway. Set it up there. Cold. All right, now this should come out of here. There we go. Got that one out. Here, you want to hold this camera, Paul? Let's see how you. The lower bushing don't feel too bad, but I know the upper one had play in it pull this off kind of show you guys too if you can see in here this uh i won't do it now too much but this pin here when it's moving this brass pin flops all over the place so that's i think a lot of what was going on there now we'll set the new one in there before we lose our place Oh no, I can't. Set it in the same way like this. And I did mark on the case on this old one. 
right here where number one where it was pointing so not that it matters because i'm not putting this one back in but it gives me a pretty close idea on the new one where that needs to be so and we should be pretty close there boy look at that <laughs> that doesn't happen very often all right now i'm just going to turn this a little so that casting lines up with that mark i made in there like i said that's not going to be exact but it should be in the ballpark my fingers are getting really cold Are you tickling me, Ariella? What did I do with my ranch? Oh. All right, we'll tighten these back down. These ratchet wrenches, they're what, one of the handiest inventions I think there is. Okay, now I am going to shut this camera off and get it charged up. Probably what we'll go through and do now, that's in there. We'll get the new coil mounted, get our wiring figured out. I got new spark plugs, so we're gonna put all them in. That's not gonna be anything very eventful. Uh, once this gets charged up, then we'll, we'll come back and kind of show you what we've done here. All right, we're back at the 560. I uh, got the camera all charged up and uh kind of show you what we've done here we're pretty much ready to try this out um put all new a brand new spark plugs for it got a new cap new rotor uh new wires these are the higher performance wires and uh set up so they're they're not copper you don't want to use the copper wires with this electronic ignition uh we got a new coil on here high output coil and then we've got that hooked up. You've got your ground wire coming out of your distributor. That goes to the ground on the coil. And then the hot wire coming out of the distributor goes to the hot terminal on the coil along with the, the power coming from your uh, ignition. So we've got that all hooked up. I think we're pretty much ready to try it here. Uh, once we get it, hopefully we've got it set close enough, it'll at least fire up and then I don't have my timing or a timing light so we're just going to kind of play it by ear for right now but um we're just tightening up a couple of the belts as long as we got the side covers and stuff off so and uh I would also like to thank again um Brian on muffler delete 101 on YouTube for building this distributor and when he got the he ordered the um what am I trying to think of here he ordered the ignition the hei ignition for this he got it from uh steiner so you can see that steiner tractor parts um got their phone number here so you can see that um he let them know that this was for a tractor uh for a youtube channel trinity dairy the lady's like make sure that man gets a hat so i'm going to give them a little shout out um i've never personally dealt with steiners before but i am definitely going to start Brian said he deals with them a lot. He's had really good luck with them. I've looked at some stuff on there. Um, go online and find them. Uh, looks like they got a little bit of everything for these old tractors. So definitely check them out. And then also I would like to thank uh, the crew up at Auto Value here in Moose Lake. They set me up with the coil, the wires, 
cap, rotor, that kind of stuff. Um, so thanks to them guys as well. And uh, we're going to give this a try here in a little bit. All right, uh, Paul's jumping on. We're going to see how, see if she fires up here. That's the best it's ever started. <laughs> the throttle a little bit. They might have to adjust that some. They let it warm up a little too.
can't fix your wheel now. Well, it's running a lot better. We still might have to mess with that timing a little bit. Um, it could also be gunked up some too from. Oh. It's been running kind of rough for quite a while, so there might be some carbon in there that's got to get burnt out a little too, but. So that's just a little fine tuning now, but I mean, when he started it, it popped right off. It hasn't started that good in, well, over a year probably. We've been having issues with it starting, so. Anyway, um, we're gonna probably get rolling with chores here now and uh, fine tune that thing a little bit more and we'll go from there. Hey everybody. A um, couple things here. I'm just finishing up chores now. A uh, couple things I wanted to touch on. That 560, we've been running it. Um, been running pretty good. Uh, I got it pretty well timed in, I think. I'm still monking with that a little bit. But starts way better than it did before. It idles nice. Runs good. The only issue I'm having, if you crack the throttle fast or, um, you know, give it a, give it a real pull down on a load, spits and sputters some i do not think it's ignition related i think it's something to do with the carb i think we're going to wind up going through that carb putting a carb kit in it because if you pull the choke out uh it doesn't do that at all uh, so i don't i don't think it has anything to do with that ignition but um anyway so that's definitely definitely way better than it was um so that's like i said that's that'll be to come but and i still might run some sea foam or something through it too to clean it out a little bit but um and it still could be burning out some carbon yet but haven't been we haven't really put much work i got some manure to haul here coming up in the next couple of days put a little more load on it that'll probably help clean things out to get it warmed up but anyway um one more thing i wanted to touch on brian there at muffler delete 101 check out his channel he built that distributor for me uh, i talked to him today He's running a little promotional thing. He's trying to get to a thousand subscribers on his channel. Um, what he's got, uh, you can check out. He's got a little video on it, but I'll try to explain it here too. Uh, when he hits a thousand subscribers, he's gonna do a little raffle thing. Uh, he'll pull one name out of that thousand subscribers and he's got a little chainsaw that he's got there. Really nice saw. I think it's a Poland brand saw. Good, you know, good homeowner saw. Um, and he's gonna give that away. Uh, either the saw or $100 cash, whichever you prefer. So, I mean, you got nothing nothing to lose there. Um, like I said, just go on there, check out his videos, subscribe. He's got some got some good content on there. So, uh, appreciate that. I know he will. Check that out, and you might might wind up with a good saw or $100. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to head in for the night here. I'm just finishing up, checking the calves over and stuff. Um, also... Come on our channel if you haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and, you know, share it if there's anybody uh, out there you think might like these as well. Um, so have a good night and we'll see you in the next one.